There is no such thing as perfect running shoe. When it comes to running, all sort of things come into play. Your biomechanics, your weight, the surface you run on, and the shape of your feet, meaning no one shoe will suit every kind of runner. So how to choose your perfect running shoes? Well, in this video, I have chosen some of the best running shoes in 2022 that you can find for yourself. So make sure to watch the video till the end and also make sure to check out the links in the description for the price info. And if you are new to this channel, like, comment and subscribe. Our best and test award is reserved for shoes that stand out from the crowd and this is one of them, judged only by its name and weight. And you would be forgiven for thinking it is best suited to speed work or racing. But that was seriously underplay this impressively versatile option, which proved as depth on long runs as it did on shorter, faster workouts. Sandwiched inside, Salkanis cushioning in the midsole is a full-length nylon plate, which offers a propulsive feeling but is flexible and subtle with less of the obvious rocker motion typical of carbon plated shoes. Compared with many carbon shoes, the Androphin Speed 2 offers a more stable, unobtrusive and sure-footed ride. You feel like you can plant your foot down with confidence. The shoe is finely tuned between cushioning and responsiveness. It's bouncy but you can still feel the road and get plenty of pop from it as you run. Overall, it's superb all-rounder, a great option for those who only want one pair of running shoes to cover all their bases. When a shoe hits version 23, you know it and broke, and cumulus fans can rest assured Essex has not fixed it. The 23 is another versatile, comfortable everyday go-to. There is some evolution notably in the midsole's 3D space construction, pillars that compress to different extents, working with your gender-specific foot strike. You don't notice the nuance of this on the run, but you do notice a smooth and unobtrusive ride. Heel strikers will enjoy extra shock absorption from the heels gel unit, while the flight foam midsole material hits a sweet spot on the cushioning continuum, soft enough to excel on slower miles, but enough spring to accelerate through tempo sessions. The plush ankle collar, heel and tongue add comfort, but at that price of 23, weighing slightly more than the 22, the upper update uses a mesh of different thicknesses, providing support where it's most needed and breathability elsewhere. While the grip is excellent even in those ferocious summer downpours. In a world of carbon bells and broker whistles, this is a dependable staple you can rely on. Designed to give you a competitive edge on race day, the V2 of the fuel cell RCLE delivers a fast ride. You will look the part too. Our testers love the styling and we would go as far as to say it's one of the best looking shoes in the whole guy. Aesthetics aside, you get the pace and pop you need for race days and speed work sessions with a healthy amount of fuel cell midsole and full length carbon fiber plate which has the same rigidity as it did in the first version of this shoe but with a steeper slope this paired with the higher toe spring gives the Elite V2 more of a rocker effect although not quite as pronounced as other super shoes on the market from speed work to half marathons these perform well while also feeling comfortable and stable underfoot at all times While the name suggests this is a 26.2 specific shoe, the Adi Zero Boston 10 makes a good case for itself as an all the stand shoe with just the right amount of long run cushioning and speed day snap. This version has been totally revamped. The thin layer of boost formerly underfoot has been replaced with a full length midsole of light stride, a lighter and firmer EVA base form, and instead of the oft used midsole plate, the Boston uses 
carbon fiber roads for a responsive, snappy ride that returns significantly more energy with each strike. Especially when compared with previous versions of the shoe, the engineered mesh upper has been updated and now uses 50% recycled textiles without sacrificing a glove-like fit or good hitting management. Base feels different to previous iteration of the stripped down shoe with the curled falling. Its heavier and stake height is higher than the Boston 9, but it's far from being marshmallowy. Something fans will love, like the Nike Pegasus 38. These great all-rounder can be worn for long runs and speedier stations alike. This is the first shoe we can remember ever scoring maximum marks in the group testing process. The reason we haven't given it a share of the best in test award is that it's quite a niche shoe and won't be as suitable for as many runners as the best in test winner. The Essex Gel Nimbus 23. This shoe which replaces the discontinued Evo Carbon Rocket mixes speed with control. It's one of the lightest shoes in the Hoka range. It's slow slung, snug, and it features a slim carbon fiber plate. The RW team were big fans. The rocker and carbon plate combined to create a springy, snappy ground. Contact that feels like it's giving you a propulsive push every time your foot hits the floor. They also feel quite stable, not like you're perched on the high stake height of a Nike Vaporfly and this gives a feeling of confidence to really push the pace. If you are after a pair of race day speedsters, your search is over. It's always interesting when a shoe brand claims its product can help reduce injury, which is what Nike has done with this update. There's no way to assess such a claim, short of a mass scale clinical level testing, so the best we can say is that no tester who wore these shoes got injured and there was uniform enthusiasm for the cushioning on the firm side, breathability and stability. The main changes to version 1 have come in the upper which has been made more robust with some cushioning added around the tongue but those runners who had worn the original suitable for everything shoe. The arch feels higher and the shoes are too heavy for speed work. The sizing comes up a little small too. If you're not comparing these with version 1, you'll find them a durable workhorse for long runs. Thank you for being with us till the end of the video. I hope you have liked the video and if you haven't checked the links in the description for price info, make sure to do that and also make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned and stay blessed.